Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm out doing, once again, something a little bit more experimental. You may have seen in one of my recent videos, uh, me testing out frozen baits versus the bait being defrosted. Um, so that was interesting to see. And then today I'm out doing something else that's different. Now, we all know pike don't just eat fish, they also eat other kinds of animals like small mammals and ducks and other things that like to fall into the water and get consumed by the pike. I mean we use a lot of laws that imitate these things, I mean I've caught plenty of fish on the rat, I've caught fish on the frog, I've caught fish on duck imitation laws, because you know if it's moving and it's big enough to fit in a pike's mouth it's an opportunity for food for that fish and it's going to take it. So today I'm out with a rat from my local pet store. No, it is not alive. I'm not a horrible person. <laughs> Even though I like putting live fish on the hook, I couldn't imagine ever putting a live animal like a mammal or a bird or anything like that. It's completely against me. I did actually do conservation in college. I do like wildlife, trust me. <laughs> so I've gone and bought a frozen rat. And what I'm gonna be doing is, I've left it to the frost overnight. And this morning, I'm putting it out there in front of a pike's face and we'll see whether it'll take the dead rat on the bottom. I might obviously give it a little bit of twitch and something like that. It's naturally in the wild. I don't think they'll come across a huge amount of dead rats. Mainly they're going to be picking them off when they're scooting down the edges or plopping underneath the banks. So I'll be putting it under the far bank so it's a bit more like where a natural rat would kind of be sitting. It's next to a bridge. There's a lot of rats around here. You know, it's England, so it's full of rats. And we'll see if the pike likes to have this bait and wants to take it. It's probably not going to be a very long video. Even if it comes in and just has a little nibble and has a little look at it, then at least we can see how it reacts to that bait in the water. Uh, and if it decides to swallow it and engulf it, then that's even better. It's going to look wicked. So I've got one rat with me. That means one take. If a pike decides to take it, it's not going to be a very long video. But I hope you guys enjoy. And let's get to the footage. As you can see there, the pike didn't particularly hesitate a great deal. Came swimming up, had that look at that bait, grabbed it by the head and swam off. I decided to pull it into shot. So the reason why it came back into the shot is because I slightly gave the, uh, the line a bit of attention because I wanted to see the pike actually eating the rat and how it did it. But when it actually was eating it, it seemed to be chomping it a lot, spitting it out, sucking it back in. And that's because obviously the, the rat has bony feet and I guess bony elbows and things like that. And it must have felt a bit odd in the pike's mouth. It wanted to get that down its neck in the nicest possible way so it didn't get lodged in the throat or anything like that. It actually took a while to eat that. And even when it went off camera, I could still see the pike for at least the next five minutes chomping and munching on that bait, trying to get it in the right position in its throat. 
So that was quite interesting to see. The pike acted exactly how I wanted it to. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Join me next time.